Good morning students. This is part 4 of chapter 8 division. In this video, you will learn how to solve the problem of division with regrouping, division with remainder and word problems. Division with regrouping Example 1 Divide 57 by 3 and check your answer. Solution First, arrange the numerals as shown here. Now compare the leftmost number with the divisor. So the leftmost number here is 5 and divisor is 3. Since 3 is smaller than 5, therefore we can divide 5 by 3. Now divide 5 tens by 3. Now count the multiplication table of 3 till you get 5 or less than 5. In the table of 3 there is no 5 so we will take that number which is less than 5. See 3 1s are 3 and 3 2 is 6 which is greater than 5. So we will take 3 multiplied by 1 equals to 3. Write 1 in tens place in the quotient and 3 below 5. 5 minus 3 equals to 2. Now bring down 7 ones. Two and seven will make twenty-seven. Divide twenty-seven ones by three. We know that three goes into twenty-seven nine times, or three nines are twenty-seven. Right nine in one's place in the quotient and 27 below 27. Now 27 minus 27 equals to 0. So we get 0 as remainder. Thus we have dividend equals to 57, divisor equals to 3, Quotient equals to 19 and remainder equals to 0. Now check your answer. Divisor into quotient equals to dividend. Here, 3 multiplied by 19 equals to 57. Hence, the answer is correct. So, 57 divided by 3 equals to 19. Example 2. Divide 314 by 2. Solution. First, arrange the numerals as shown. Now, compare the leftmost number with the divisor. So, the leftmost number here is 3 and divisor is 2 which is smaller than 3. So, we can divide 3 by 2. Now, divide 3 by 2. We know that 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4 which is greater than 3. So, we will take 2 multiplied by 1 equals to 2. Write 1 in the hundreds place 
in the quotient and 2 below 3. 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Bring down 1 tenths and 1 and 1 will make 11. So divide 11 by 2. We know that 2 5s are 10 and 2 6s are 12. So write the number which is less than 11. So we'll take 2 multiplied by 5 equals to 10. Write 5 in tens place in the quotient and 10 below 11. 11 minus 10 equals to 1. Now bring down 4 ones. 1 and 4 will make 14. Divide 14 ones by 2. 2 goes into 14 7 times and 2 multiplied by 7 equals to 14. Write 7 in ones place in the quotient and 14 below 14. 14 minus 14 equals to 0. Therefore the remainder is 0. Thus, we have dividend equals to 314, divisor equals to 2, quotient equals to 157 and remainder equals to 0. Now check your answer. Divisor into quotient equals to dividend. Here, 2 multiplied by 157 equals to 314. Hence, the answer is correct. So, 314 divided by 2 equals to 157. Example 3. Divide 8064 by 7. Solution. First, arrange the numerals as shown. Now again compare the leftmost number with the divisor. So the leftmost number here is 8 and divisor is 7. Since 7 is smaller than 8, therefore we can divide 8 by 7. So divide 8 by 7. That 7 ones are 7 and 7 twos are 14 which is greater than 8. So we will take 7 multiplied by 1 equals to 7. Write 1 in thousand place in the quotient and 7 below 8. 8 minus 7 equals to 1. Now bring down 0. 1 and 0 will make 10. Divide 10 by 7. We know that 7 1 is 7. Write 1 in 100 place in the quotient and 7 below 10. 10 minus 7 equals to 3. Now bring down 6 tens. 3 and 6 will make 36. Divide 36 by 7. We know that 7 fives are 35. Write 5 in tens place in the quotient and 35 below 36. 36 minus 35 equals to 1. Now bring down 4 ones. 1 and 4 will make 14. Divide 14 by 7. 7 goes into 14 2 times. So write 2 in 1's place in the quotient and 14 below 14. 14 minus 14 equals to 0. Therefore, the remainder is 0. Thus, dividend equals to 8064, divisor equals to 7, quotient equals to 1152 and remainder equals to 0.
Now check your answer. Divisor into quotient equals to dividend. 7 multiplied by 1152 equals to 8064. Hence the answer is correct. So 8064 divided by 7 equals to 1152. The next topic is division with remainder. Note that in the process of division, once we get a remainder which is less than the divisor, we cannot continue the process any further. Example Divide 237 by 6 and check the result. Solution. Arrange the numerals as shown. First, we start with hundreds. Six does not go into two. Or compare the leftmost number with the divisor. Here, the leftmost number is two and the divisor is six, which is greater than two. Therefore, we start with tens. 2 and 3 will make 23, so divide 23 by 6. 6 threes are 18, write 3 in the tens place in the quotient and 18 below 23. 23 minus 18 equals to 5. Now bring down 7 ones. 5 and 7 will make 57, so divide 57 by 6. We know that 6 9s are 54, so write 9 in one space in the quotient and 54 below 57. 57 minus 54 equals to 3. That is, remainder is less than divisor, so we cannot continue the process further. Therefore, dividend equals to 237, divisor equals to 6, quotient equals to 39 and remainder equals to 3. Now check your answer. Divisor into quotient plus remainder equals to dividend. So, 6 into 39 plus 3 equals to 237. 234 plus 3 equals to 237. Hence, the answer is correct. Division by 10 Example Find the quotient and remainder when 68 divided by 10 Solution First arrange the numerals as shown here Now compare the leftmost number with the divisor. Six is smaller than ten. So we consider the next number. Six and eight will make sixty-eight. So divide sixty-eight by ten. We know that 10 6 is 60 and 10 7 is 70 which is greater than 68. So we take 10 multiplied by 6 equals to 60. Write 6 in the ones place in the quotient and 60 below 68. Now, 68 minus 60 equals to 8. Here, 8 is smaller than 10, so we cannot proceed further. Therefore, quotient equals to 6 and remainder equals to 8.